what's up guys, DJ Maniac Mike here for you, and tonight I'm going to be smoking one of my most favorite tobaccos of all time, and I wanted to kind of share with you folks kind of a little bit on um, how to set it up, a little bit of a how-to. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is a kind of a two-part video, one's going to be a how-to um, packet, and then the other part is going to be the actual video review itself. So with that, it's going to be... Nakla, two apples, or commonly known as double apple. Uh, basically, if you're not familiar with what it looks like, it's very typical Nakla cut, very, uh, very red, and also it's very coarse as far as the cut. Um, smells tremendous. Smells like apple with long the. Uh, the aniseed, a lot of folks say the aniseed uh, flavor or smell is uh, reminds them of licorice, which is probably the best way that I can describe it. But anyway, folks, the way I like to smoke it is an overpack in an Egyptian bowl. So that's what I'm going to do here. I've got a, uh, a large Egyptian bowl. I'll show you how to how to overpack it. So. Of course, you want to make sure that it's all stirred up, which I've already done, and uh, more or less you just load it like you would normally. You want to just break it in there, make sure you get all the uh, clumps broken down. You want to get a nice even pack in there folks kind of just pat it down as you go along but don't you know force it down and with the overpack method guys of course you're going to be going way past the rim of the bowl so uh, that's kind of what I wanted to show you tonight um, this has been done before uh, I'm certainly not taking any credit for it it's something I learned through watching videos and I just wanted to kind of share my knowledge that I gained with everybody else so Hopefully you find this useful. Alright. Basically what you're going to do, folks, is you're going to pack it beyond the rim of the bowl. And normally what I do is go just about double of the normal bowl size then to get your hands dirty, but just kind of pack it down. So I got a pretty even pack right now, pretty tight. And really honestly, folks, uh, you don't have to overpack it, of course, but overpacking you get a lot of flavor out of it and uh, you can only smoke for a long time so you can sit down and relax and enjoy your smoke. So after I've got it packed down, I'm going to just keep on packing. You know what, guys, those tunnels just aren't working for me, so... Alright, so as you can tell, pretty much got a, uh, a lot of tobacco on there. Um, already been patted down once. Right. So, got a nice mound of tobacco there for you folks. Next thing you want you want to do is you're going to want to take your foil and just kind of you know, sit it on there, but don't wrap it around the bowl. And then just take you like a tabletop method, turn it over, and then press it down to get a nice even layer. 
flat layer. So, got a nice flat layer there, guys, and a lot of tobacco. Um, then, of course, go ahead and wrap the foil around the bowl. Make sure you get it as tight as you possibly can. Um, it's not going to be pretty because you've got a whole lot of tobacco in there. So that's basically what is going to be the, uh, the end result after the pack. Um, as far as poking holes, what I like to do, guys, is uh, just find these barb, and I find that the uh, barbecue skewers work best in this situation for me, anyway. It appears I have a grommet in there that I was not aware of. So I'm trying to get that out. All right, and as far as poking your holes, guys, you want to take it from the bottom. So you just take that skewer, I like to hold the bottom as I'm poking it through so not to rip the uh, foil. And you want your holes you know, pretty much the size of the, uh, the hole itself in the bowl. And then you just want to kind of keep doing that with all the different holes. Which, uh, this bowl actually is miss or it's I don't want to say missing a hole, but it is impossible for me to actually get to one of them. So I'm not going to end with uh, I think there's five holes in the bowl, but I'll have four. This is usually the uh, really the hardest. Me anyway, just locating those holes in the bowl. Yeah, this particular bowl, guys, is not the most even as far as the holes go. They are rather hard to to get to, but there you go. I think I found the last one. And as I said, you want to make those holes nice and big to allow the airflow. Basically, going to want to see through them. So just make sure they're nice and hollow. And that's kind of what it looks like at this point, folks. Uh, as I said, I think the, the hole right there on that side I can't get to, so i got to cut it out of the picture. But after you get your big holes, I just like to go back through and, uh, you know, just poke some, some more kind of evenly spaced just throughout the bowl. Don't overdo it, but that's basically what you're going to end up with. Uh, it's an overpack bowl ready to go. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get things set up guys and uh, come back with you do the actual tobacco review itself. So until um, next time, DJ Maniac Mike, be right back.